Fox 5 Health News. Should every child be screened for autism? A highly respected panel of experts says yes, but not everyone is on board with this ambitious plan. Joining us now is Dr. Debbie Nampia Parampo from NYU School of Medicine. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Wow, this has incredible implications. Talk to us about this. Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics, which is a group of physicians, uh, pediatricians, they actually are in favor of the widespread screening that every kid should get looked at. But now the new report is from a government task force, which is a group of physicians, public health officials, and, and um, other experts. And they say that you should only get screened if you have symptoms. Then you should get looked at and diagnosed. So the controversy really hinges on a couple things. You know, first, if you get diagnosed, if you get screened and diagnosed, do we really have an effective treatment for autism? So there's some controversy there because there's no cure. You know, Absolutely. if you have more intensive therapy, more behavioral treatments, that might be more effective, but it's not really a cure. So that's problem number one mm -hmm. and then the second problem is that you don't have a clear diagnosis like in terms of a test so you can't do a blood test or an imaging x-ray you know MRI or something else and then make the diagnosis so the group is saying that if you just screen everybody and you're not looking for symptoms that the parents bring to you that you might diagnose autism or autism cause spectrum more disorders. trauma yeah. To not knowing if it's right amount Make people case or worry. Like that. But sure. then the pediatricians, their argument is that if you don't do that, sometimes parents miss things or parents don't know enough to realize that something's wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to know what the right answer is in that debate. As, uh, it sounds like there just needs tricky. to be a lot more education and parents need to be more aware sure. of yeah. to look for the any kinds of signs. Okay. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for that. Okay, a lot of eyes on Rhode Island starting this year. The state is going to require HPV vaccines for teens, like every teen. It's going to be, uh, it's actually the first mandate. It's first to be seen in this country, right? Uh, I think Washington, D.C. has the mandate, too. For um, everybody. For all teens? Well, for middle schoolers, they were looking at them. And in Texas, they tried to do it once, but it didn't totally, uh, it didn't go through there. But, but anyway, the idea here, I think people are opposed to it because uh, the idea of thinking about middle schoolers or seventh graders, that's what they're looking yeah. at, and then thinking about an STD in the same sentence or the mm -hmm. same thought process is kind of distasteful, right? You don't want to think about STDs with kids. But at the same time, I mean, this vaccine is a lot more than a protection against a sexually transmitted disease. It's actually a cancer vaccine, so it'll protect you from HPV, which is the main cause of cervical cancer. Right. So if you think about cancer, you know, there are three different time periods that you could intervene. With cervical cancer, you could intervene when the woman is still healthy, you know, so that uh, she never develops the cancer in the mm -hmm. first place. That's the idea of the vaccine here. Then the other time you could intervene is once there is a cancer, but before it spreads. Hope you so caught it early. Yeah, right. that's a pap smear. Right. I mean, to me, it's, it's difficult to see the downside because you'd get the vaccine and then they don't get it, right? I mean, even if they delay sexual activity for a long time. You I know, agree. It, it actually has nothing to do with that, at least when we talk about kids, because the thing is, the reason they need to have it so early is because if they've already started having sex, most likely they have HPV. So if they're older, it doesn't matter if you're 50 or if you're only with one partner. Once you start having sex, you have a very high likelihood of right. getting HPV. Yeah. So if you want it to work, if you want the vaccine to protect you, you've got to get it right. way before that. All right, Dr. Debbie, always something to think about. We appreciate <laughs> it. Thank, Thank you very nice much. Nice talking to you. You too.